So I, I'm in the engineering school in the Department of Industrial Engineering and Operations Research. We tend to have large classes. Um, I've been here for about 35 years and seen the evolution of, of tiny classes grow into classes of, you know, close to 200. Um, and, uh, you know, so, so obviously grading and, and uh, exams and, and grading homeworks and quizzes and so on is a major thing of what I've been doing for many, many years. And uh, so something like grade scope was a, was a blessing when it, when it came around, um, you know, it made it easier for me. And <clears throat> I think it would make it easier for anybody. Um, and it's not hard to use. It was a game changer for me because it's always been a hassle with large classes, how to deal with say homework. You know, you the old fashioned method is the students bring paper to the, your, your in class live lecture and have to turn it in at the end of the particular day, say Wednesday, or somehow get it to you in some other physical way. And it's kind of a mishmash of getting them all together and making sure they're on time and then having them get to a grader and having them meet and, and be able to do it together or something. And, and, and it just gets kind of uh, complicated and messy. And, uh, but that's how it was done for a long time until something like this made it, made it very, very mechanized and easier I mean, you don't need to be in person to grade exams or grade quizzes. Um, you need to discuss things, but you can do that online too and, and, and so on. So it, and everything is then kept really rigorously on the computer as a record of everything. It's, it's just really well organized. And, and so it's just an easier way to deal with this immensely easier. So that's how I would, I would summarize it. Well, I think the, some of what I just said, but I think that really hit hard when, of course, about two years ago when the pandemic hit, we all had to suddenly become Zoom users. And fortunately, I had, I had used a grade scope in a class or so before, one of my large classes, and, and together with the TA and so on, we found it very, very pleasant. And, and, and so we, we were able to snap right to it. Um, but I can only assume that, that other people were caught off guard I know, for example, uh, people may have decided not to count homework for a while until they figured out what to do. Um, you know, so really that, I think for the pandemic, it was just a, again, an amazing, amazing way of just continuing to allow students to turn in homework and other things and have them graded and, and make it available to them and have them posted in a really nice way. Implementing, you know, quizzes and exams using Gradescope is a very nice feature where you can, for example, if you want everybody to take it at the same time, you set up a window of time and everybody has to go in there uh, some during the beginning of that window of time and must turn it in by the end of that window of time. Another method, which I use often, because sometimes there's people in different time zones, you can actually make a larger window even though the exam is only two hours, but they select their own window of two hours within there. As soon as they start their two hour window, it's clocked and they have to turn it in at the end of their two hour window. And those between those two, they know there's variations, but those are very, make it very flexible to give quizzes and, and exams and things like that. So I think that that's what I would recommend. Um, yeah. I also, I did <laughs> something I did recently is I, um, I experimented as follows. I, you know, when you have a really large window, you worry about you know students communicating with each other and things. And so I, in the middle of this large window, I just went in there and threw out the exam and put in a new one. And so the students who might have thought <laughs> that they that they knew what the exam questions were going to be were caught off guard. And 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 equally, I I feel equally hard exam were easy, but they weren't able to take advantage of that first chunk of time to maybe cheat or I don't know, but it, it seems to have worked and, and uh, so far so good. Oh, I think as I did when I first started to use it, I think it's important to have a trusted TA or someone else who's with you in the course to really have access to what you do with Gradescope. So you both can work on it together in case there's an issue, a problem, you know, you sometimes need help and advice where you want to do experiments. So I, you know, contact my TA and then do this experiment that I just talked about. We did it with a fictitious thing first to make sure it actually kind of worked, uh, came up with what we thought would might go wrong um, in advance and tried to 
minimize anything. And, and, and yeah, so I think if you just do it by yourself, it's likely that you might run into trouble and not know how to help yourself. So that's what I would say.